first reading. We have the Emperor and the Star card. You know, Cancer, you are getting guidance from an authoritative figure, someone who um, this could be a judge, it could be a priest, it could be a pope, it could be um, of high authority. So it could be someone in the spirit world as well, or it could be a father figure. And the person in the spirit world would be either a guide to you or uh, someone who has passed on that was like a father figure to you. So think about that. There's this person comes right up in your reading. First card, first position. Um, so there's a lot of meaning in that. Someone's wanting to um, reach out to you or to offer you you know, their authoritative information. Now, if this person is being too brass and bossy, then you'll know that, hmm, that's interesting. That may be the deception that I was talking about before the reading. I wasn't trying to be negative, I promise. Um, it's just that it's come up so much. And the crystal, I'm seeing a mask. But, you know, this person usually represents someone in authority who is in our our benefit, but it could also be someone who's giving you some uh, problems, issues. They're not coming off as who they say, like I said, who they say they are. But put in the comments below because it's interesting facing them. We have the star card. So whatever comes from this person or away from this experience is really going to enlighten you. The stars are magnetic for you. Your guides are around you again. So I, I really want to say that the feeling is of enlightenment. Um, she's pouring the water from both cups, so she's feeling the flow of life. And it may be like a really spiritual experience that you gain that couldn't come from anybody else but this person right here. Or it could, but not in the same way. There's a lot to be gained for your growth, for your experience, for your from your guides that are wanting to talk to you. Even if you don't know their name, a lot of people feel that they have others around them, but you know, you don't have to know their name. So these are really two interesting major arcana cards that are coming forth right the last 2 weeks of August and appropriate for you. Well, we have a third one. You know, she's almost bowing down to this down to this guy, but at the same time that and I'll talk about these two in a minute, she's bowing down, she's receiving hope and optimism. So there's something about this emperor. I want you all to if you would, if you want to, put in the comments below who this emperor is in your life because they're going to be different people to all of you. Okay, so here we have for September, we have the Empress and we have the Knight of Cups. Now, I want to say the Knight of Cups is, could be you. It's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And offering their love, you know, offering their your intuitive and, and creative abilities. Um proposing, whether you're man or woman, you know, or an offer of proposal. I'm just saying it's, and this comes from the Empress. So this Knight of Cups is facing the right, and it feels like this Empress. Here we have the Emperor and the Empress. I just noticed that. Wow. Okay, Cancer. We have both. We have both archetypal father and archetypal mother figures in your reading. You know, it's interesting, none of these cards are negative. In the essence of the, the card itself, none of them are negative. They're just fascinating. So we have a lot to maybe be learned from parents, um, whether it's something that was beneficial to you and you've learned that, or something that wasn't beneficial but you've learned how to cope with that and or use it to your benefit. 
if your parents are deceased in the spirit world, they are sure showing up for you in this reading. Or grandparents, it could be that. It could be. You know, the Empress is mother. She's creative. She's the birth of, birth of a baby, birth of a project. So this also could be that she's helping you or there's a new project being birthed and you're going to take it forward and you're very happy about it. And maybe you're proposing it to someone else, maybe a new job, a new, um, I got collection. So if you're a collector <laughs> of whatever, arts, artifacts, um, you know, anything, China, I'm just saying, um, you're, you're creating something anew that makes you happy. And it feels like the, the mothering, the, the birth of this empress, how she tends to um, unfold her love and her abilities to nurture people, nurture projects, nurture life. It will benefit you, enable you to bring this forward into your into the world. It's an interesting reading. Okay. I want to, for some reason, look at the bottom card here. It's It's been itching at me. <laughs> do it, do it. Look at the bottom card. And we have the Four of Wands, which is a great celebration card. This is usually about work. It can be about a relationship. There's harmony. There's hope. There's congratulatory, you know, seeing the fruits of your labor. Um... So that's a nice card as sort of a clarification. You might be seeing new hope in your work and in your relationships. Maybe some of your relationships have been a little bit off. That wouldn't surprise me. So you might want, to, because this reading is so, um, it's grounded, but it's kind of seventh chakra stuff stuff over here a little bit. So you might want to watch this reading again in the middle of September and see how all this plays out for you. You know, a lot of these readings play out over the next three and four months, but this is the, the foundation of it. So I'm going to look into the crystal and see what's up for Cancer mid-August through mid-September. Um... You know, while I'm not seeing the mask this time, I am seeing, I am seeing spirits around you. Um, yeah. So some, for this is for some cancers. So don't freak out. Don't get excited or too excited. These, these might be, you know, spirits that, that are, you know, family. It might be too that if you've had any instances with, uh, ghost or spirits in your house that you don't know where you're hearing noises that may come up that may be what this is about but this could be father and mother too I'm just saying it's coming up in the crystal okay so uh, this is for the looks like the Cara Caribbean Islands um, this might be more of a global reading and I'm just happening to pick it up in Cancer. Interesting. Um, my feeling was any hurricanes that are coming that way, I, obviously, and I don't think that this year will be as horrific as last year. We had three major hurricanes that hit, you know, the Texas coast, uh, Puerto Rico, Florida. I mean, it was just a mess. But I am getting that. I am getting it's more safe this year, but, you know, it was just looked like it was a global forecast coming up in your reading, Cancer. Interesting. And of all, you know, the signs, the water signs, you all being as intuitive as you are. So if, if you're picking up anything globally, you know, if you would like, put it in the comments below because some of you are very, very, very intuitive. Well, all of you are. But some of you use it on a either professional basis or you just you just know it. Okay. Anything? What else is coming up? Oh, there's the mask. Okay. So it, you know, hey, Mercury's in retrograde. 
Just discern who you want to be around, who you want to communicate with. So fascinating. It's come up in almost every sign. All right. What else is coming up? Anything for cancer. Do we have a totem animal? Well, I am seeing underwater sea life. Uh, wow, this looks like um, a really interesting large fish that you would see. It almost looks like it has a wingspan, but it's a fish. It's not a jellyfish, um, but it is. there is a lot of under life, underwater sea life. I'm seeing a shark. I'm seeing a thin tail fish, maybe. That's what you would call it. Um, it feels very, you know, I know this reading may sound very out there, but... <laughs> I, you know, I say what comes up. This feels very under, underground, or how do I want to say it? Lemurian, Atlantean. Maybe that's the feeling I'm getting. Atlantean kind of essence around you all. Um, I don't know if any of you connect with that, connect with the Atlantean uh, era, uh, Lemurian maybe. So that's, I think, what I was getting around the underground sea life. It, it was an archetype. Okay. Interesting. So if any of you all want to read about that time period, especially the Atlantean, it might be very interesting to you. Okay. A lot of, like I said, seventh chakra stuff. We have some groundedness, but yeah. 